based in Amsterdam and Budapest. And since 1993, they try to trace information uh, about people who have, been, who have lost their lives and killed within the borders or on the borders to Europe because of the state policies or border regimes. Um, and they try to, as much as they can, as much as possible, they try to give the name if it's known, the gender, the age, the cause of death, and the source of the information. So we can say the list is a, is a compilation of different sources. So it doesn't come from an, like a one position narration, but it comes from different constellations or excerpts from different sources. And sometimes those sources can be also in conflict with each other, uh, including newspapers, activist platforms, state agencies like IOM, so very different sources. Um, I have, I will talk about it, I have several translations of the list with me in collaboration with different newspapers. Also one in Spanish and Catalan that we did together with IMA in 2019, the El Periodico copy, I have it with me, so um, if you see it in, in, in person and read, uh, you will understand what I mean. So when I, how I, I encountered uh, the list in 2002 when I was living in, in Amsterdam and, and still studying. Originally I grew up in Istanbul and uh, so I had the chance and privilege to travel and to study in different places um, both in US and in Europe. And in 2000, 2002 to 2005, I was w living, working, and studying in Amsterdam at Rijks Academy. And I was particularly interested back then in an asylum seeker center called Ter Appel, which is um, in the Netherlands, close to German border. And they were, um, it was a very ambitious project architecturally. Um, to give an example, the architects, they were giving special private tours uh, to, to normal people if there was a demand to explain the, the politics of design. And so I got, I started to work on this particular um, center and then I encountered the work of United. So it was around 2002. And I was also perplexed and very much in trouble with the different representation of, of all these politics. So, I mean, I like to remind you that we are talking about beginning of 2000s. So, so there was, and there was another maybe um, awareness of the normal public about the uh, border regimes and, and, and immigration policies. Um, but still, I was, I was very much, as an artist, also as a researcher, I was very much interested not to somehow cater to the to, um, uh, spectacularization or the, 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 a kind of violent representation of the, of the, of the sufferer, you know. Um, so I was trying to find another way, another language to, to talk about this but also within, within the possibility not to appropriate also um, that content. Not necessarily claim the authorship, not necessarily make my own work, and not kind of say it like, because I'm an artist, I can just appropriate it, it becomes my piece. So I was against, to start with, I was against all this. But what I wanted to do, doing my own, other artworks, and then, if possible, giving the space to negotiate with the institutions, art centers, with the different actors of culture and arts, somehow negotiate a space 
for, for the content of the list without basically giving them as a piece or as an artwork. So that was like my, my intention. It didn't go smooth. Um, because first of all, it was, I was also a, a young artist, uh, 2002, still studying, and the, the topic or the discussion was not really um, yet interesting for institutions. You know, I mean, um, this document was trying to trace um, different source of death because, of course, if we, if we look at from 1993, uh, it was also, you know, you could see the, 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 the Yugoslavian war, you could see the, um, uh, the, the Afghanistan war, you could see the invasion of Iraq by Americans. I mean, you could see the different uh, chronology of, 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 of conflicts and wars and invasions through the list. In a way, all these, um, what was happening was triggering those deaths, um, triggering, generating, causing sometimes. Um, so, so it, it, it took around five years to, from 2002 to 2007. I will show some, some images uh, and I will, yeah, this, um, just let me finish the sentence and then. So you will see through the images different collaborations over the years, starting from the 2007. So from 2002 to 2007, I, uh, the, the idea was to, to have a collaborator as a, with an art institution, particularly an art institution funded by the government money, to convince them to collaborate with me, basically to give money to distribute the list. Um, back then, the document was uh, um, shorter than today, uh, and I was uh, also very stubborn not to show any fragment of it. Although, of course, uh, I guess we are all agree that this this um, uh, document is not complete, and it can n never be complete. Uh, nevertheless, whatever. Um, I, actually, I was. I wanted to facilitate as, as its distribution. I wanted to. Uh, I didn't want to choose one page over the other, or I didn't want to create more fragmentation. Um, so that means, practically speaking, we were talking about um, lots of billboards in a city. So. This was around 150 of them in the city of Amsterdam, and uh, repeating twice uh, the entire the entire document. Um, I, may, I was also, as I said, I was young and also, I guess, naive. Maybe that naivete also still exists today in some parts. Um, I thought, actually. The, the, the encounter with such an information could possibly trigger um, a discussion and eventually a political change. Um, I was interested and I really wanted to believe that knowing something, uh, reading, uh, and not reducing to a single image or kind of a chosen image to a, you know, in a, in a one page in a newspaper or an engaged uh, website or a, or a um, propaganda of an of a, um, activist group um, is not enough. So somehow giving the capacity to read um, 16 pages and, or 7,000 um, different cases of what happened could actually, if you re read it properly, if you really like this structure, you know, it's not reduced to a, just a name or to a number, but you really read the, the cause of death and who is behind this death could actually maybe change, um, create some change politically. Um, we can discuss this later. <laughs> I mean, it's, um, what is the, actually the real capacity of, of, of knowing um, and also like, you know, the, 
any kind of possibility of change uh, departing from that, I'm not sure anymore, after 20 years. Um, after, after Amsterdam, um, I start to think also like um, uh, as a kind of reaction uh, to different discussions with the art institutions, how I could develop different methodologies to, to kind of uh, distribute this. Uh, first of all, first to start with, it was only uh, making it larger, so not really, I didn't have the courage or the also experience to work with the content of the document. I get in touch with the United and I thought, uh, I have these 150 billboards and then can I uh, borrow the, their document? And they were like, this is, you know, we are working on it, but it's a PDF that means like it's an open source, so you can do whatever you want as long as you, you know, you mention our name. Also, one thing was important, there was never the name of the institution, neither collaborators nor my name on the, on the um, posters. It was just a blown up version of the list that anybody could download from their website as the PDF. Um, in, from 2007, once, once the document was out, there were other institutions interested. And every time it was a, there was a need for a new negotiation, there was a need for a new positioning. I mean, to be honest, at the beginning I was maybe too like, okay, somebody finally wants this, so maybe more um, eager to collaborate. And then eventually more I collaborated, more I realized sometimes you can actually be in complicity with people that you're against too or you can actually nurture certain form of visualization that to start with, I was very sure that I was against. And that really happens you know, over the years, like with, uh, sometimes under my control, sometimes under our control. I mean, I will come to El, El Periodico, the, the cover of the, of the newspaper, how at the last moment, the, the institution, the newspaper, the institution, the art museum, uh, whoever the partner, actually, you, you don't know what's their intention, really, or what are the really the, the what is their stake. So I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to continue to show because I also want to compare different covers of the newspapers when, the, the, of course, the shift uh, of policies and also the, you know, the, 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 the happens throughout the years. So we are talking about 2007, 2008, before 2011, before 2013, no Arab uprisings, no Syrian war, no uh, really large populations are displaced, no Turkey-EU deal yet. So really, it's, a, it, it's I think until 2011, um, it, it was a really, a, a different way that people perceived also our negotiations. Um, some of them not at all interested because it was not um, uh, a popular um, crisis. Uh, and or when I was trying to say this is since 1993, you know, it's really like happening this way, and they were like, yeah, yeah, it's you know, it. I mean, they bit measured compassion in kind of, in combination with, uh, with like maybe, maybe next year, maybe we can have, you know, in our program next year. So, and also something very important, is this your work? Who are you to do that? No, it's not my work. Uh, then what are, why are you doing it? Um, and I was trying to explain uh, within, within my capacity why I'm trying to do it, always also with different collaborators um, in different cases. Uh, but lots of art institutions or museums, they were very keen on having an author, uh, fuss of us. So this somehow the PDF-ness or the, the openness of the document uh, was very disturbing for them. Maybe eventually I understood. Maybe it was also like finding a responsible um, in person, or sometimes it was also, you know, as a museum. We are in a museum right now. 
you know, the need to have a caption, you know, who's the artist, you know, so it was like, maybe not, um, uh, it was hard to legitimize or justify to the public why they were having this, such a, like, uh, information in their program, you know. Um, and in 2008, it was the Athens Biennial, first time in collaboration with, um, with Tanea. Uh, sorry. Yeah. And um, a newspaper, which is, you can see it here. Um, it, it's not even a leftist newspaper. And now they change owners, but back then also it was not a leftist newspaper. And I learned through this experience that uh, actually, it was not, a, not about the ideology of the paper, it was about uh, um, uh, the editor of the Foreign News who kind of wanted to do this with me. So it was one person to kind of um, have that um, encounter, and it was translated into Greek and, and published as a, as a supplement of 16 pages supplement um, in the paper. And, and I, I kind of I want to talk about this because, as you can see on the cover, it was really like this, announced like this. And normally, I, I, back then I was even resistant to that because somehow I believed that unnegotiated encounter possibly could have a more powerful impact with the audience. You know, like when you open the, open the newspaper and suddenly you, you're forced to read um, this document. Uh, after that, I, I wanted to develop other strategies. This was in Basel um, with my solo show. I didn't want any posters for the... This one, sorry. Yeah. I didn't want any posters for my exhibition and I swapped the, 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 the billboard spaces that any Kunsthalle or Kunstverein or any museum has in the city to display the list. Um, so eventually like, you know, like, um, it's interesting when you have a, like a really um, a col the same minded collaborators, it, it, goes very, it goes very smooth, you know, because they were very much interested also to create a discussion in the city of Basel. The director of the uh, Kunsthalle Basel uh, was, um, it, he was Polish origin. So for him, it was not even a question of, of, of uh, uh, he could appropriate the space of the art space, but he didn't want to appropriate uh, the document itself. So I don't know if it's, if I make sense, but these are like a very in the art in the art and cultural world, very, very difficult but very subtle um, uh, nuances, uh, because lots of lots of institutions they want their logo on it, they want the sponsor's logo on it, they think that they, you know they, they want the city logo on it, and then somehow this bare document on a um, swap with the train or with the city columns like this without really, you know, um, uh, any further information was quite, for that time, it was 2011, uh, was important for me. I was still believing in, in, the, in the power, in the power of that presence. This was 2012, Istanbul, again before 2015, so it's a different time of, of Turkey before the Syrian war, still uh, for people living in Turkey, the, 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 the idea of a migrant goes back to the, the, the migrant workers from the 70s, you know, people, the guest workers, the Turks or Kurds, they are the migrants go somewhere else. So it's still, they were not like today, they didn't experience this, um, what happened, um, after 2014 uh, and 15 from Syria. Mm, so it was interesting because lots of people started to talk about it um, in the city. And something also uh, I, I try not to do, I don't 
necessarily follow people. Uh, I don't interview them. I don't go next and I don't ask. I, I just walk in the city and I, I observe, but uh, I, I, I'm not trying to collect or compile reactions. Still Istanbul 2012. In collaboration with um, big European money, uh, that Europe and it was a it was a multi uh, institutional organization, and and the major organization in Istanbul was Salt, uh, owned by back then it was a guarantee bank. So I mean, it was a quite a quite an entangled situation because uh, in Turkey the art institutions, the big ones, they are owned by big industrial families. So, and they all somehow, in order to keep their bigness, they have to collaborate with the government. So for me, whoever sits around the table matters. Um, so I'm trying also um, involve all these people uh, to collaborate and, and not like a do it uh, DIY or like a more um, city Fostering or like more clandestine way. I, I try really to buy those uh, spaces with institutions and then somehow they, they become stakeholders uh, or they're forced to become stakeholders. Commercial billboard on the top of a roof of a hotel and, and, the, and the document was translated in the, into a video format for 360 hours. So every night when the dark was coming, the sunset, the film was playing until the, until the morning. Of course also, um, this was also a different period. I don't know how much you know about uh, Turkish politics and our history with uh, Kurdistan. Um, today I cannot do that. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that also in the 90s. So there are times in our history you cannot pronounce the word Kurdistan or even Kurd. People got killed still when somebody can hear them speaking Kurdish in a nationalist environment. So it was also very important for me to be able to do that in 2015, which was the summer of very, very, very uh, heavy displacements. I mean, we were receiving news of people dying, um, hundreds of people every day, uh, both in the Aegean and Mediterranean Sea. Um, so it was also a moment that I start to think about how to continue on this recording how to continue really on working on this um, uh, registration, we can call, and this documentation, we can call, witnessing, we can call. I don't know if there's any right word, because you feel like um, there is a water running and then you just want to stop that water, but the moment that you think you're stopping it, it's even running faster and more stronger. So, it, yeah, it is, a, it is a position that you, it makes you feel sometimes that you, you're, you, you're useful. And, and then on the other side, you're kind of editing the document and now you're like, why am I here? I could just be somewhere else and really literally like um, maybe facilitate the, the, the transition or the passing of someone or maybe really saving someone or warming someone rather than working on this uh, on the screen. Because I'm talking about um, every time we, collaborations, we are translating the list into, the pro, into, in, into one of the languages of the local context. So we translated this two times into Turkish and, and every time because of the nature of the list, there is a um, revision backwards, meaning uh, the document doesn't stay stable 
fr from 2011, 12, 13. Every time we read it, there are changes and revisions. That means you have to do the work again and again, fact-checking if possible. Also, I think um, one thing that art and the, the economy of time within arts, I think, allow uh, me and then also to the list and to my also um, f collaborators, um, we could really spend time to read and, 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 and somehow within the possibility to increase accountability of it. Because um, an NGO, especially one like United, doesn't have that capacity and time. They're receiving from different sources and somehow they, they try to translate that into this document language. And, and us, uh, in, with different teams over the years in different contexts, we could actually read the document too many times and go for fact-checking and uh, if we are in, 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 in Spain, we do the res research from the Spanish part. If we are in Norway, we research and then try to find cases in Scandinavia. Uh, I can be, I, I'm working with the people in Turkey. So because United as a multinational network, um, they cannot do this kind of um, spot on research. They don't have time for that. They receive from different actors, but then they really, they really enter. Um, so over the years, yeah, this, this working with it, reading and reading and, 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 and fact checking within the possibilities, because sometimes there is no fact check. There is, there is no way to know, especially starting from 2011, 13, 12 and 13. Um, in the 90s and beginning of 2000s, uh, there are more singular cases and you can find these people and you can really trace and some of the still their trial continues. You can follow, you can update, but uh, with this um, capsized boats and, and, and shipwrecks that you have hundreds of people losing their lives in one night, there's no really fact-checking. And, and unfortunately, the language becomes very violent, the generalization, and this, you know, uh, yeah, if you read, you will see what I mean. Um, so from 2015 on, Unfortunately, in relation to the, to the change of, 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 uh, of the situation and shift in the, in the border policies, in the militarization, in the more newspapers, more public, art institutions wanted to show more. It's terrible, but suddenly there was a demand on such a scale we couldn't deliver, and we should not deliver, because they didn't know actually what they were doing. There were people who wanted to know, and uh, I mean, you're one of them, but there were several institutions and museums, they just wanted to be part of this humanitarian discussion. Oh, okay, we have something, we have to say something about uh, the crisis, and uh, so can we show the list? So it became this double-edged sore situation because um, we go back to the 2000s, I, I wanted to make this document visible as much as I can and create discussion and make it readable. But then that demand and that uh, in relation to the, uh, what's going on, uh, on the on the state policy level, also on the media level, suddenly the whole list was reduced to almost a single image, like which somehow was to start with like it was against its 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 um, uh, reason of existence, but nobody was reading. Uh, there was no time to read. It was about the scale, it was about the numbers, it was about the how many. Um, uh, I mean, I was receiving emails that they, nobody, like, 
people wa were wanting to, to display or to, to show in their museums, but they didn't even know what was the list was saying. And um, so I had to reposition myself. I had to change um, the methodology. I, I wanted to, I didn't want to give up, but I wanted to change. And I wanted, to, also I didn't know really how, but uh, there was something wrong. Um, 2015, this was um, in Bonn. And uh, this was in Hollywood uh, with the Red Cat. Uh, with Thomas Kinnan and Sohra Moebi that we still collaborate. Um, so in a way you can see the scale is, is changing. This was uh, the Tria mm, Milano Triennale. Oops, sorry, am I going too fast? Um, um, yeah, Berlin, 2017. Together with Gorky, Maxim Gorky Theater, uh, it was translated into German second time. First was for Kunsthalle Basel in 2011, and this one was uh, 2017 uh, for Gorky and for Berlin, um, traditional columns. It was the first large-scale distribution uh, with a newspaper and with a large theater as a collaborator. Um, you will see the image. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. So this was the cadastro. So for almost one and a half year, um, we work on the translation. Um, also, as you know, lots of um, European languages, when the gender of the disease is not known, it's assumed man because of the, uh, the article and the gender pronoun. Uh, so of course, over the years, you know, when you start to read the list from 90s, there were lots of words uh, wrong, politically wrong, politically um, uh, like wrong labeling and illegal. The, the term illegal was used. Then over the years, the language had to change, but also how to change, you know. Um, so because it compiles different sources, it also compiles sometimes the newspaper, the media language. Uh, there were a lot of discussion with United, also initiated also by myself, like um, do we use their language and then the show also the, the contrast and, and, and the, 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 between the, the, the sources? Or should we uh, like a language which is um, you know, pro movement, pro pro migrants, and also like um, and and not kind of repeating and nurturing the the, the media's position. Uh, of course, when you work collaborate with a newspaper, it becomes even more complicated because they don't they they publish a disclaimer for the document itself because it's not their editorial compilation. And here. We kind of first time um, use the pronouns, which is you know neither nor uh, man or man or woman, which in a in a in a very um, unpractical way, it makes each sentence longer. That means, I mean, it might sound weird and and, and shallow, but because the document has such a specific layout. Uh, coming from just a kind of a conversion of an, from an Excel to PDF, nothing, not, nothing is based on the aesthetics or design, purely uh, try to fit as much as information, and so this is the only way. But of course, using um, the star, which is normally it should be like migrant, and this is like migrant tenon, 
So it creates, it, it kind of needs larger space. Um, that means um, more work. That means more copy editing. That means more time. And also more resources. You know, we know that the translation is, is a, you know, uh, costs a lot of time and also resources. So we convinced the newspaper not to have any, any cover page, not to make any announcement. Everything was negotiated until they decided to, to publish this um, on the cover of their main newspaper without any, any warning or any kind of uh, uh, discussion. And um, which is, I was thinking back then, it, it, it's a representation which is completely the counter position of the, of, the, of the list. And when I asked them, like, you know, how, after one and a half year of different discussions, I thought they would take this position, why would they publish such an image of someone without his uh, consent? Um, they were, they were like, we didn't touch, this is the exact sentence, we didn't interfere to your document. This was our editorial decision. So, uh, this was very, it was a kind of a critical point for me, like, okay, um, they, they kind of generate the visibility through this very, um, difficult, violent representation, and, uh, but also they put me in complicity because somehow I thought we were trying to say, maybe not the same, but, you know, um, similar things, and suddenly I get juxtaposed with this framing. So, what, what does the list say in this context? After, after this, it got out of control. Um, you, Guardian newspaper wanted to publish. Uh, we approached them uh, with two institutions in UK. One was a Chisenhill Gallery in London, and one was the Liverpool Biennial. And and because I, I thought I learned from uh, from this experience. So with the Guardian, it was an, an, another negotiation. Um, and I asked them to change the image three times. And then eventually, this was the decent decision. A life jacket. And it got, of course, the, 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 the biggest visibility. And uh, they didn't um, sh shy away to use the word um, 25 years of the refugee crisis. Uh, and I mean, Guardian was working for a while on, on, on the tr try to kind of create a discussion. But somehow, um, yeah, they didn't just they didn't feel uh, uncomfortable to use the word crisis uh, and somehow again you know follow the, the the rhetoric and follow the the the, the politics of, of of the eu trying to mediate the what was going on as as a refugee crisis uh, there was no refugee crisis uh, there was a there was there was a european crisis um, after that, the Liverpool uh, Biennial um, used the same document um, as, 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 the, as the hoard, as like a kind of large postering of a hoarding. After the second night, it was destroyed. Uh, we replaced it. It was destroyed again. And then something interesting happened. Uh, people took over. 
um, this one. There was a moment of, uh, we don't know who removed the list. There was, no, um, there was no way to survey, there was no CCD camera. And, uh, but uh, local neighborhood people, the kids, uh, they took over and they kind of expressed their reaction to, to the removal. And then eventually the mayor uh, and the city the, the, the get involved and they said this is not uh, uh, good for the Liverpool city. It's not good for, it's, it's a migrant city, it's a port city. So they, they want to re, uh, repaste it. And, and, and this was the third time, no, the fourth time, if I remember. It was attacked. Um, after this, the list got the, the largest press. Um, it was all over the news. Um, I, I didn't know how to how to really um, because I was trying to be invisible, but because it was an art biennial, you know, there were lots of headlines about like you know the artwork was uh, destroyed uh, the, and, and the, a Turkish artist death list was torn. It was about my uh, Turkishness. It was about art. It was about f you know freedom of uh, expression. Uh, it was about intolerance, and um, so it was a very mix, mixed situation again. Because uh, yes, the list is, was, was it has reached its its maximum visibility, which we were trying on this uh, 15 for 15 years. But actually, it it um, it, it became almost uh, unreadable. Nobody was reading it. Nobody actually was knowing what was inside. It, it kind of started to represent the, the, the hate for refugees and, uh, and it became a kind of this very um, populist discussion between the, the pro and, and, and the against uh, migration. Uh, then we did uh, Within Barcelona, uh, we did extensive translation work, and um, with a with a collective of translators. They were not really translators. They were a group of five people from different professions, and when they encountered the Tagesspiegel uh, dissemination, they got in touch with me and they said they want to translate it into Spanish. Uh, not Catalan back then, only Spanish. And they start to do it on their own. And uh, they just wanted to display them in the public libraries in Spain within their means. And, uh, and it was amazing because that's actually what I was always like dreaming that it kind of uh, creates this kind of self-organized involvements and engagements and and then when Ima invited uh, us for, for the city of Barcelona in collaboration with the, with the, with the, um, the city, um, we also translated, they also translated into Catalan. And, uh, and it wasn't, uh, to be honest, uh, I, I don't really know what kind of reaction it triggered in the city. Uh, I don't know if you are hearing me, but uh, now, yes, better. So, practically, the list was placed in the walls where usually we used to find advertisements about Benetton or Welling or whatever. 
Yeah, the but the shopping uh, yeah, area, like uh, a commercial yeah. area. It was one of the, also the main uh, fluent uh, underground stations in the city. It's in Passeig de Gràcia, so in the main center of the city. And the period was Christmas. Christmas and sales. So uh, it was very shocking. So we had two kinds of reactions. From the, some days that I just was stopped and regarding people. I remember especially a couple, a mother and her daughter. And the mother asked the daughter, but do you think it's real? And for me, that was shocking, hmm. for example, no? It's like, I don't realize this reflection in the, in the moment, but yes, uh, months before, uh, after, sorry, uh, especially thinking in not only governments, also whole medias use news or reality. And now that we used to talk about fake news, for example, it's incredible when where you face reality, you have doubts about it. For me, it was, was crazy mm. to think about this talk about a mother. It were, um, mother was about 55, something like that, and the daughter, I don't know, maybe 30. Uh, but this is one reaction. The people was very shocked, very surprised. And in this case, they, can, they, they weren't sure, sure if uh, the list were real. But, but then also, some people were angry because it was Christmas and they want to be happy. They want to be happy and they want to go to buy, to, to shopping, and you were bothering them. And it's also where, for me, it was also very interesting. And of course, then, then there are a lot of people too that were completely agreed that you, with all the group, decide, or the United, no, recopile all this information and publish it, and that make people aware that that's happening every day. You know? And uh, unfortunately, unfor but Natalie, uh, every day the list is bigger. So it's, uh, well, one thing goes after this um, distribution um, because what mm, people call United because that's the information, the contact information they have is on the document, uh, and then they inform sometimes that they know people also who got killed, and and their names were not on the document. I think this is one important kind of um, channel that actually some people really, um, they were not aware of such a archive or such a like documentation, so they want their friends or families become part of it. Um, Do you have some example of the detail to can, uh, people are here to read uh, yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because, so because I mean, I will come to the. It, it's so much. Yes. It's very objective. The yeah. list It's like just information. Uh, yeah. I, that I brought much. El Periódico also, uh, but of course, but then um, El Periódico. Just want to show something first, and then I'll, I'll. Of course, I mean talking about again um, the cover. Remember, Ima. It was also out of control. We couldn't say we couldn't do anything. So it becomes such a situation. They um, because they give they give such a space. You know, um, this was like 70 pages. Um, so it's a lot of space for them. It's a probably a lot of. I don't know. I don't remember if they. Uh, the city subsidized or the day subsidized because I was not involved in that. Uh, I don't yeah, remember. They, yeah. But then they think it's it's their right to juxtapose with this kind of representation. Um, so for me, it became this kind of entanglement that almost like a, um, a compensation. Like, okay, you want this? This is the price, or this is the position you have to accept. Uh, which is uh, is very d d troubling because this is something that I'm very much against to it, and I don't want it, and I also don't believe it kind of has it serves to something except um, a very sh short uh, maybe uh, empathy or compensation or you know the the, the guilt which doesn't from my experience, translate can translate into something more like um, a longer and more efficient and more kind of, you know, politically kind of transformative. 
Um, and of course, the inside also was very much um, choice of images, uh, very wrong. And of course, Alain Kurdi. Um, so my last collaboration, which I was, I, I really wanted to take a, I don't know if it's a kind of stop or to take a break. I'm still in that, I'm, I, I, I'm still not, um, or pause. Um, it was in, in, in Bergen. Very, very different collaboration. Because my question was um, actually to, if, what if we could make the research period and the translation period very long and almost like a collective uh, action? Uh, so I was invited uh, to, to participate uh, something for two years in Bergen. It's called Bergen Assembly. So I put together a group of activists, translators, academics who were interested into, into this research. And uh, so there was no deadline, there was no rush, and they were meeting every maybe like five weeks and, and trying to make a research of different um, uh, deaths or people from the Scandinavia region but also translate into Norwegian together. And somehow, uh, my, the question was like, is it possible to, to have a kind of a collective grief um, when, for people that we don't know, and somehow that, that, that mourning, that action could, um, doesn't only stay on that um, sentimental side of, of the grief, but really um, goes beyond that. And this is what I was also inspired. I'm part of um, a collective in Istanbul um, of families that uh, lost their um, families who are struggling for, for work murders. We, it, we call it, it's not an accident, it's murder. So if you have a family member who lost his or her life uh, because of um, uh, work situation. So we try to organize, you know, with, with lawyers, friends, or we try to kind of, you know, uh, make public appearances. And I can see with them that, of course, it's, it's also, it's, it's a different connection because it's their family members, but still, there are also people, including me, that we are just together. And that grief, that anger, actually, has a transformative capacity. So it's not only about, we also do the book, we also count, we also give the names, we have lots of documentation, but also we follow the cases uh, for, for sometimes for like 15 years. And so it creates a, an energy and capacity to struggle. So, so somehow my, um, my question was there, the longer involvement, uh, and not just for a, you know, uh, for, for a kind of, a, for, you know, to do it for a deadline, you know, not as a job, but really uh, going deep in it could create maybe a, um, a political transformation. Well, uh, we were in Norway, and then I, th I think the work was amazing, like uh, almost a year of, of, of collaboration, but when the, the the, 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 the paper came out, uh, it was also a tabloid, so a very different audience um, in comparison with, you know, papers like Guardian or Tages. Um, not a single reaction, but nada, nada, nada. Like it doesn't exist. Pure silence. No, not even angry reaction. Nothing. And that was very interesting to, I mean, it was very violent, that silence, and I think it said a lot, but um, it was already gone and forgotten the following day. And, and for the translator collective, they were locals, 
uh, it created a lot of discussion because for them also, I really saw that because it was their work and they wanted to claim responsibility for it. And that silence, so it was not me coming to another country, you know, talking on behalf of the others, but it, they really um, wanted to know the, the, the reason of that silence. And, uh, and then I decided to, to take a break. Maybe some questions, I don't know how, what's the time and what? Because our translator, she's going to be very tired after an hour. I don't know. <laughs> I, sorry, I can't hear you. We are already. Okay. Okay, maybe question. Eight and ten. Eight and ten, so an hour and ten. Okay, wow. Okay. Any questions? Any more questions? Se puede ver que en español, después de lo que interpelaban, el padre de un libro, y una de sus facilidades. Es una propuesta. Es una propuesta de The Last List, es la de Family of the People. No, no, no. Sorry, I, I got, I, maybe I confused you. Um, I give the example of reference of another organization in Istanbul that um, uh, a collective organized by the families of people who lost their, you know, their um, close ones through the work murders, we call it. Some people call it work accidents. Um, we call it work murders um, because of the negligence of the, of the work conditions. Uh, because not in general, so that's, I kind of get inspired by those families because in a way their grief creates political change and, and gives the energy political struggle. So, and there is also in the collective there are lots of people outside of families as well. So I, when I invited the collective for translation into Norwegian, I thought this long-term engagement, you know, reading and researching maybe can create something uh, for longer term and for a possible change. Sorry, I maybe explained a bit. Yeah. I have a, a question. Of course, my experience is from Barcelona, because for me it was also a deep experience, through the different worlds, but especially really this one. And not only were we placed it in the subway, especially trying to publish it or to find a newspaper that want to publish it. I remember how we contact to all the Spanish newspaper, completely all, yeah. El País, La Vanguardia, ABC, La Razón, Catalan newspaper, El Pun, Ara, so, so really all the newspapers. Only El Periódico decided to do it, and uh, it's very, contra um, how to say it, it's a kind of contradiction because it's not a newspaper that used to go deeper in the news. It's really to with big letters, you know, like the, and, uh, and somehow uh, advertisement technicals too. So they don't used to go deeper, but they decide to publish it with this, of course, these images and uh, this kind of, I don't know if it's respect, not respect, uh, because when we talk with the journalists, they seem to understand, but then the, the work problem. done was like, yeah, wow, how do you arrive to here and why do you don't ask to Banu or to the group, the group that was doing the translation, mm -hmm in Catalan of the Spanish was a real, you know it, hard work to do. And you always, I recover the question you did in the beginning of your talk, uh, which is the intention when they decide to publish it. I really would love to, if you don't know, I don't know if you have a question or, or, or something after all these experiences with the list, because it's really, which is the intention? So did they had understand something during the process or so? Because this is happening every day, you know? especially now that we are in an island. So we are in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Even the here, there is a hard topic to think the sea from a touristic gaze, you know? for example, for sun and beach. But in this same sea, every day is dying people. And uh, we cannot forget that. So I don't, I don't think that we need to live in a kind of horror or guilt, like you say, but 
minimum being, uh, being aware of that is happening. And so because this is a special um, place here for me. Mm. You know? Being in Mallorca is OK, now in, we are in Europe, of course, but we are around the sea, and we are between Africa, Europe, and Middle East, like being an island, of course. No? And uh, Barcelona is so close, for example. Because, but there are a lot of differences. But at the same time, I'm not sure that here we will be able to find a newspaper to publish it. I, I don't think it's possible. No, I don't think so I, anymore. Also, I mean, but um, I, my, my question now, after 20 years almost, um, I mean, obviously, it, it doesn't change anything. Uh, I mean, look at uh, look at the, you know how many pe people more, but. Knowing, I guess, depends how you know, you know, because I, um, this kind of populist language that the newspapers kind of, um, although they seem, but at the end of the day, you know, they kind of go with the, in, in line with the, the, the state policies or even the Guardian. I mean, even the Guardian, but it's called it like refugee crisis, you know, or um, they find this kind of sensational, sentimental uh, language. Um, I don't think it's, it will change anything, you know, uh, but that doesn't mean one has to stop to work on it. It's just my problem is as an as an artist and especially within arts, you know. Um, suddenly, I found myself in contradiction what I wanted to do and almost in complicity with, you know. So like serving or like um, serving to something that I'm against to, or list or the the the, the, the situation became almost an asset for me, you know. I almost became famous through this, which is, which is also, it's a strange situation because it's, um, I, I became more experienced as an artist, then I was offered more opportunities, then I could use those, this power to distribute, and then it coincided with the change of regime and shifts in the, in the I mean, whole scale of the, 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 the movement, and then, uh, suddenly, like almost, I become in the art world, the, 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 you know, the the the, um, the representant of this, which is it's, it's a horrible situation uh, because I, I'm I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in complete, almost being invisible in this. And but that invisibility was not possible anymore. But because of that visibility, also um, because of the trust that I kind of. Cultivated with some people, a um, couple years ago, I could get some resources with full trust, with no promise to cater anything, and and I was follow we were following a, um, a, a case in Turkey. A, a Nigerian young man was killed in the police headquarters in 2007 in Istanbul, and. And then the, the trial is still on, so one had to go to to, to South Af Africa to Johannesburg to get the DNA example of the family. Uh, I could provide the resources for the lawyers through this cultural money without giving anything back to it. But this I could do it after 15 years of they know you know so. It's a very strange position, you know? They didn't want anything. They said, because normally another NGO or applying, it could just make prolong everything. So it's a, um, it's a very, and this is not something to, to publish or to talk about, but I could only do that because of, of maybe different compromises or because of different visibilities than suddenly like, oh, we can trust her. So it's a, um, yeah, and not doing it also eventually will won't give 
any position to negotiate anymore. Talking about from the art world, I, I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, it's a, it, I think it's a double-hearted situation. Same for United. Um, la, over the years, there were moments that we could actually um, take some, you know, if, if a mu museum or if an art center wants to show the list, I start to demand fee for the translators or for United because, you know, it's all volunteer work. And they are doing the job, you of know, course. So, and it was also important, you know, to, 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 to the, for the institution to recognize that. Um, yeah, so the language also, you know, the, 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 if you read it, the, um, you know, for, again, because I, for me it's very important the, the readability of the, of, the, of the document, so uh, I refuse to, to reduce it to a single image. And over the years, of course, because of that popularity, I'm using in a, in a bad, there was also lots of people from different disciplines, you know, the dramaturg, theater people, sculptors, they really appropriated it big time. People made sculptures, like paper boats from the list. I mean, horror. I mean, somebody might say the same thing for me too, you know, but, in a way, I am also, I, I have a participation on that. So. It's not your decision. No, but in a way I contributed to, to its large scale visibility and it became something that people like, oh, I want to say something about these horrible things. I can use it, I can make a big paper boat with the list or I can put it on the floor. Or I can, and. and um, but who am I to, to kind of judge these people, you know? Like, but, but I definitely contributed to it. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that, in the sense that I can do a chair, and somebody can kill another with a chair. So the users of the thing, it belongs to the people that do the action. I think, I mean, yeah. it, it, it belongs to them. Yeah, they should take their own responsibility, but... Uh, I, one, one, one of the things that I like of the documents, that are, of, of the, this project, of this list, is that you cannot find judgment. Hmm? You are free to take a position, hmm. because you uh, cannot find a judgment inside. It's very objective. For that, I was asking you if you have a detail, because it's incredible how it's exposed. I mean, name, gender, age, cause of death, and, and sources. So well, there is no narration. That's, that's I, I think, very the, important. The origin, the country. Hmm? The, but, but there is the origin. No, no, not, no narration. Na, narration? There is no narration. No, no, for that. There is no story. There is no narration. For that. There is, it's excerpt, which is, um, for me, I think, um, conceptually and, and, and artistically speaking, I, because there's no way to represent this scale of uh, uh, it's, it is almost like a genocide. Um, that there's no there's no way to represent it really, um, visually speaking. So I think the only possibility is to make a compilation of excerpts. Um, from different sources, so one can go further if they want. You know, there is the IOM is there to, you know, the the right wing papers are there to. I mean, speaking, they've all like a very uh, so it's and there is a possibility to go even deeper. Researcher document has another version, not not the published one, but for for researchers, so you can go read it to, to sources. Um, but then with the criticality of, of thinking about that language, because otherwise, this language, it's not authored, you know? So this is for me always like, this language also sh depicts what's going on around. You know what I mean? So there's not one writer, there's not one narrator behind it, which makes it, I think, very 
interesting to, to look at things. Yeah, uh, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I but it doesn't agree. function that way. It goes to a kind of reduction to the numbers or to like, oh my God, it's so sad and like, what can we do kind of, you know. It, it, people are not interested to destructure it necessarily. Yeah, but so. maybe. Yes, the the the, the, the um, perpetrator, you know, like the 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 the, um, the oppressor or the perpetrator, like it's there is no such a thing in COVID. COVID is the killer, right? But here, the when you look at the cause of death, you see a lot of other things. So, and sometimes these kind of documents can conceal that, you know, because of this generalization and. Uh, so, because some of this, like, like the baby I had, no? You, the, the one that newspapers are yeah. using. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, of course. Yeah. It doesn't also do, it doesn't, it, it's really just, it, I mean, it's, um, it's explosive, but it doesn't do also, it doesn't trigger any kind of, you know, action. Um, and they are using it. I mean, the, 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 the photo editor of The Guardian um, was not, for a year, not involved in the discussion. The moment came, he was just going to his pool of images. He's like, this, this, this. I'm like, where were you? Like, you know, it's, um, so it's a very interesting way of working for them also. They don't really, you know, they see it just kind of some representation, but they don't really think beyond that. Uh, but then they also want to be partner in that, you know, which is also is, is a, is conflictual. Um, of course, also one thing with the interesting, the I asked, I asked the Guardian, like, why did you accept to, to publish this? Uh, and if you would publish, if it was coming from the, from the United? They said no. The, the fact that it's coming from, uh, because the, 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 it, it's a very uh, trendy topic for them. It was like 2018. And then it comes from two institution, art institutions and an artist. We are interested, which also makes like how pervert almost is that, right? It's the same, it's the same content. Mm -hmm. But how they want to be associated and with whom? But I'm interested to, to challenge that power. It's just right now I feel like rather than challenging that power, I become in complicity. Whatever I do, I end up almost like their side, <laughs> you know? So that's why I wanted to take a break. Yeah. <coughs> um, I'm curious about this last example. Uh, will this um, feature on title has something to do with no. this? No. no. It's a total local newspaper. No. It's only seen on the right, mm -hmm. on the top right. Yeah. Because I searched it at Jumbo, it looks like. Um, 
something like uh, we search for vacancies, and the image looks like a bit like also minority. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. The exit of the one who arrived with uh, at the end every medium or media is given the their narrative with the images. So, um, yeah, I think that's also one. Yeah, I mean, you could see I mean, how you read it because we, you don't, we don't speak Norwegian, so it's, we based on the person because the person has a, you know, darker skin than you don't. Yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, but no, because this is a local paper, so people read, you know. No, it, it has nothing to do with the list. And also, there was a water shortage that same day. That became a larger issue than this. <sighs> Priorities. Thank you. I was familiar with your work, but but hearing you in person speaking this was really powerful because I had a special relationship with the phenomenon of migration. So I was thinking about your struggle. Right, not represent uh, others, uh, delicate moments, uh, existential crisis, uh, not representing them in, in, in undefined ways, which is what Western media is doing, right? It's reproducing suffering, it's uh, um, uh, exploiting the suffering of others, right? But you are saying earlier an interesting thing, and in that uh, the refugee crisis is actually a crisis of the European Union. Mm -hmm. How much, uh, how many refugees does the EU, the EU uh, accept, right? And, and this started with the Syrian refugee crisis. Well, I mean, it started way before, but on this popular, vi vi visible scale, yeah. So I was thinking how, how your, uh, how your work was uh, mediated in, 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 uh, in the media and in Europe, and how it sometimes that uh, the newspapers were like any kind of trying to, to impose their own narrative over yours. Uh, I, my, my question is have you considered maybe um, focusing back on how, how the media is uh, uh, presenting your work? And rather collaborate with activist movements, with performance artists, like to, to, to use this to address uh, other other uh, artists or, or movements. You know what I mean? Because the media is always trying to to justify <laughs> a narration that's one of excluding them of difference mm. and of exploitation of other images and something. Okay, just I make sure I understood the last question. So you, you asking me, did I consider to to collaborate to use the list uh, in in ways that engage activists, okay. performers, artists, because you are you are saying earlier it's it's pretty collaborative, right? Yes. This, yes. 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 Well, the people from the human rights. Yes, of, co of course, but I, I think it's two, two different things because um, I, this can be completely wrong, but I, I have a quite a clear position in my head towards it. Um, I don't want to use it as a material, you know. So, like, for example, I, there are people that I collaborated, they kind of read it out loud, you know, or they read it inside the, the small group together. It, um, but I, for me, it has to come from them. I, I, I don't want to use this as a, as a material. Um, and I think this is what I kind of witnessed or experienced, although I think I was not, but in a way, at the end, the collaboration, there are things out of the control. So then the media use it, and I, becomes the part, I become the partner. 
Mm. So, so this is a this is the kind of a, the dilemma. And um, but otherwise, mm, you know, in a, in a, in, a, in another scale, completely more practical, logistically speaking, also like because I'm also interested, like the one that with the we are the the the, the trial that we are following. There are moments that actually you can reallocate certain. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.